I think it's going to miss As us, actually. As the second round of the 20th annual Willow Oaks Fall Invitational began, conversation on the first tee centered mainly on the weather. Temperatures were mild, but the skies were gray, and rain was on the way. After the first round of play, the Willow Oaks team of Larry Loving Jr. and Scott Campbell posted a 63 and went into the second day with a four-stroke lead. But chasing them at minus five were three teams. Keith Decker and David Partridge, Hank Klein and Cam Young, and Adam Horton and Buck Britton, and seven other teams were within seven strokes of the lead. Top amateurs from Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina began their chase for the trophy as those still in the hunt teed off in the second round. Playing out of High Point Country Club, David Miller. Playing out of High Point Country Club, Jim Carmichael. Playing out of Permanence Country Club, Ben Kiefer. From River Creek Club, Mark Bodecker. Playing out of Cannon Ridge Golf Club, Bob Abreu. Playing out of Fincastle Country Club, Charlie Green. Out of James River Country Club, Alan Barber. Playing out of the Country Club of North Carolina, Thomas Parker. Playing out of the Country Club of Charleston, Winton Mears. Playing out of the Crossings Golf Club, Chris Sarah Playing out of Willow Oaks Country Club, Hank Klein. Playing out of Elizabeth Manor Country Club, Adam Horton. Playing out of Caswell Country Club, Buck Britton. Permanent Country Club, David Partridge. Playing out of Chatmoss Country Club, Keith Decker. Playing out of Willow Oak Country Club, Scott Campbell. Playing out of Willow Oak Country Club, Larry Loving. Come on, Larry. The range came early, and as the players slogged through the front nine, only Hank Klein and Cam Young were able to make a run at the leaders. After this soft third shot at the par 5-8, Klein was able to convert for birdie, and they were momentarily within one stroke of the lead, with Loving and Campbell at even par through seven holes, just one hole behind them. But after their birdie here, they made a three-putt bogey at number nine, and made the turn at two under 34 to get within two strokes of Loving and Campbell, who made the turn at even par. Buck Britton and Adam Horton also had the opportunity to get within two strokes of the lead with birdie putts at number eight, but Britton lift out left and Horton right. They made the turn at 35, three strokes off the lead. After the turn, conditions got really bad for the players as the skies opened and the rains came down. For several holes, players struggled to keep their equipment dry as the rains continued. These guys got to be giving up the ghost. But even with the conditions, Cam Young was able to put his third shot here at the par 5 12th hole close. After a birdie at the 10th hole, Lionel nice Young stood at minus 8. Meanwhile, yeah, Campbell and Loving behind them birdied 11 and were at minus 10. Young converted the birdie putt to get the team to minus 9, but just moments later, Loving and Campbell birdied 12 to get to minus 11. So on the tee at 13, Young and Klein are still two strokes back with six holes left to play. Playing with Loving and Campbell just behind Young and Klein, Keith Decker comes to the 13th tee off of a birdie at 12, but they're five strokes behind and need a run to pick up ground quick. He hits a perfect drive here at 13, around the corner, and a short iron in for his second shot. Decker failed to convert a birdie opportunity at the 13th hole, but comes to the 14th with a short wedge in to the green. A beautifully played pitch to the green leaves Decker a three-foot birdie putt, and after converting their birdie opportunity, they walk off the 14th green at seven under for the tournament. But in the same group, Scott Campbell has this birdie opportunity at 14, which he rolls in for a birdie to take Campbell and Loving to minus 12. Arriving here at the 15th tee, Loving and Campbell have a three-stroke lead over their nearest chasers, Klein and Young, a four-stroke lead over Horton and Britton, and a five-stroke lead over Decker and Partridge. But 
but Partridge converts this beautiful tee shot at the scenic par 3 15th for a 2 to get them to 8 under for the tournament. Great shot. After a good bunker shot, Scott Campbell has this 15 footer on the 15th hole to save par to remain at 12 under with a three stroke lead over their nearest competitors. and he holds a second consecutive crucial putt to maintain the team's lead. Ahead at the par 5 16th, Adam Horton converts this birdie putt to get his team to minus 8, but it's as close as they'll come and they finish three strokes off the lead. It's come down to a two-team tournament as Hank Klein and Cam Young tee off on 17. Klein puts it in the middle of the fairway, leaving himself an opportunity at birdie at the difficult par 4. His second shot in at 17 leaves him this makeable birdie putt, which he needs to make if they have any hope of catching the leaders with one hole left. And he rolls it in to reach yeah, minus 10 baby. with one hole left and an opportunity to still catch the leaders. Facing a two-shot deficit as they stand at the 18th tee, Klein and Young need a birdie and some help from Loving Campbell. Klein sets it up perfectly by striping his tee shot down the middle on 18. Klein and Young get the help they need from Loving Campbell behind as they take an uncharacteristic three putt bogey on 17 and Klein needs this birdie putt to have an opportunity to make a playoff. And he rolls it in to reach minus 11 in a tie with Loving and Campbell who still have the 18th hole to play. Loving and Campbell both reach the green in regulation on 18, and Scott Campbell puts first with this opportunity for the win. But it just misses on the left, leaving it to Larry Loving to attempt to win in regulation. But his putt just misses, and it's on to a playoff. Both teams parred the first and second holes of the playoff, and a rainbow painted the sky as the playoff moved to the 18th hole. Larry Loving reached the green in regulation, and after a par by Hank Klein, he had this birdie putt for the win, but it just slipped by, and it was back to the first tee. Both teams again parred the first hole, and they arrived at the second hole for the second time. Both teams had good birdie opportunities with Klein, Loving, and Campbell all putting for birdie. Klein was away. Next was Larry Loving. And finally, Scott Campbell for the win. But it wasn't to be, and they're on to 18. After Hank Klein pushed this second shot approach to the 18th green off to the right, he, Cam Young, and Scott Campbell all failed to make birdie, leaving Larry Loving on the green in regulation with this 45-foot birdie putt for the win. And so, after 36 holes of regulation play and a six-hole sudden death playoff, Larry Loving Jr. and Scott Campbell are champions of the 20th annual Willow Oaks Fall Invitational.